it's time to unload the trailer. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. I thought some of you might like a closer look at the composite panels that I purchased from Jean-Francois at Next RV. So I'm about to unload them. Let's take a closer look. These are the panels that I've purchased. They're all seven feet wide. Three of them are 14 feet long and the fourth one is 15 feet long. Two of these 14 foot long panels will be used to make my side walls. The only change I really have to make to them <clears throat> is cutting a small corner off the back for the departure angle on the back lower corner of the box. The third panel will be used for the roof. The whole box is going to be 14 feet long, so there's going to be a straight drop in, no cuts to make anywhere on that panel. And the last panel is going to be made for the front and rear walls. This panel will be cut into at least three pieces and it will need to be narrowed because it's fitting in between the walls. That's what these panels are being used for. Let's get a closer look at the panels themselves. Using composite panels was something that took me quite a while to come to a decision on. I had initially talked and thought about building this all out of aluminum, insulating the inside, putting up a wallboard on the inside, but over time I realized that although the composite panels in general to start with are quite expensive, the cost in the end of building comes down significantly. These panels are already finished on the inside, they're already finished on the outside, I don't have to build any structure or framing, it's just put it together and you've got a box that's pretty much inside outside finished right away. Now of course once I decided that composite was probably the right way to go, I took a really long hard look at building my own panels and in fact for a long time that's what I was going to do. In the end I decided just to buy them because I can't trust my own engineering, I don't know that the glue spread would be right, it was very hard to find the outer laminate material in sizes that I needed without having to buy way too much. So really it just came down to buying something that's already ready already and being ready to go. And that's the decision I'm really glad I made because now that I get these panels home, I can tell you that if I'd built my own, they wouldn't have been like this. One of the things that I've noticed is on the inside where the foam and the panels are glued together, you can see there's a lot of little ticks in between the foam and the outer panel interface. And that's allowing more glue area to go into the foam, which makes the bond between the layers significantly stronger. The panels themselves weigh about one and a half pounds per square foot, and the outer layers are fiberglass. The fiberglass in this case is a polyester resin with both veil and roving. The finish on the outside is a white gel coat with a UV inhibitor. The finished panel thickness is about 36 millimeters or just under an inch and a half and each of the layers of fiberglass on the sides are around a millimeter thick, so about 34 millimeters of foam and 2 millimeters of fiberglass and gel coat. Now what some of you may be wondering is you heard me say the side walls, the roof and the front and back walls will be made out of these panels, but that leaves out the floor and that's because my floor is going to be made out of aluminum. So, before I get to glue together any of these panels and start making things look like a box, I have to build my floor and my exoskeleton. And that means I'll be switching from this machine to this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's lots more to come. If you enjoy this content, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Share the video if you think it'll help someone. And don't forget to come back next time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.